many Marine Corps bases in Helmand Province run on fossil fuel, a lot of it. In August, the Corps used more than 219,000 gallons in the province. Well, the, the amount of fuel we use at the forward edge, or the, you know, the tip of the spear, if you will, uh, it's a great deal and it causes or it requires a lot of logistics support. But here at Patrol Base Boldak, Marines are taking advantage of a resource that is abundant in the Afghan desert, the sun. What we have here is the green system. You can see the solar panels up here on top of the HESCO barrier. PB uh, Boldak is home to the latest in the Corps' pursuit of efficient and alternative energy, carried out through a process known as the Experimental Forward Operating Base, or XFOB. And it's essentially our way of seeing what commercial off-the-shelf type technologies that focus on energy efficiency and alternative power can make a difference for us here on the battlefield and throughout the Marine Corps' mission. The technologies at PB Boldak are in line with the Expeditionary Energy Strategy. Signed in March by Commandant General James Amos, the strategy directs that by 2025, the Marine Corps will use 50 percent less fuel than it does on the battlefield today. Now to do that, we have to do demand reduction, we have to train our Marines in, in valuing energy and fuel properly as an asset. And then we also have to provide them with capabilities that, that are much more efficient. To validate alternative energy items, the Marine Corps uses a two-step process. Items first get tested in California at 29 Palms. With a good review there, the technologies are then fielded by an infantry unit in Afghanistan for the XFOB evaluation. During their deployment last year, 3rd Battalion 5th Marines did more than wage counterinsurgency operations in Sangin District. They also tested three of the Corps' newest energy items. Efficient LED lights, tent insulation liners, and solar energy panels and pads each helped lessen the battalion's dependence on fuel and provided important tactical benefits. Uh, traditionally, they can go out and they can only carry up to about three days' worth of batteries. So after that three days, they have to get resupplied with batteries, and often they have to change their or alter, alter their mission so that they can get into a location to be resupplied. So one of the uh, capabilities that we've pursued and that we're fielding right now is, is a spaces system, which is flexible solar blankets that have a controller that can actually uh, recharge your batteries and uh, run your radios, and it all fits in your backpack after being Marine approved by 3-5, these items are now issued to all deploying battalions. Here we are beneath the solar panels themselves with the energy controls and energy storage capability of the Green. But the XFOB process continues this year at PB Bulldog. The system's called the EarlCon. It's a hybrid generator and it's our first attempt at the efficient power generation and distribution of energy for our command operations center. The EarlCon works like a giant electric car engine. It can power an operations center using a diesel power generator or energy harvested by solar panels. So what we have here is the solar power portion of this system. Uh, so anytime that the sun's out, we are harvesting solar energy and we're actually storing that in the same batteries uh, in, inside the system. But even when the EarlCon has to run on diesel fuel, it's a far more efficient platform than the existing generator-only solution. So what we have here is energy storage in the form of lead-acid batteries. So what it allows us, whenever we have that generator on, whatever is not going to power the load, the communications or the, or the lights, it's actually the excess energy is coming from the generator and getting stored in these batteries. While the EarlCon keeps power from being wasted, the direct current air conditioner helps lower the demand for energy in the first place. So this is your typical uh, Marine Corps AC. This is a BU-14. It's what's typically used to uh, cool off the building and uh, other areas. The problem with this system is it's fairly inefficient and it just cools continuously. But this is the uh, new DC AC which is direct current air conditioner. It's a lot more efficient. It, uh, it's got its own internal thermostat so that when it reaches a certain temperature, it shuts off. The idea behind all of these programs is to help an energy-dependent force be more self-sustaining. We talk about getting back to the roots of, of expeditionary, which means fast, lethal, and austere. And all, so all the capabilities that we're pursuing 
are in that mindset. It is to enhance the mission capability of the Marine Corps, not just for a reduction of fuel or a reduction of cost, but is it can we make the Marine Corps a better fighting force for its true mission and its mission out here in Afghanistan uh, by pursuing these capabilities.